This is Josiah Plays West of Loathing. All right, we're here in the pickle factory, and we need to deal with this whole salt puzzle. So, let's see what's up with the ghost. You approach the ghost. Salt, salt, salt. Gotta salt this out. Salt. You are right there, partner. Salt. Jeez. Okay. Salt. Calm down. Let's fight him. Put him out of his misery. He's got pickles with him. Salt shrouded ghost. Ghostly cucumbers. Terrifying moo! How's it about you buff me up, Pete? Take it. It is a big bone. It's St. Beefus's thigh. Oh, I don't have enough action points left to bull stomp. That's alright, let's just start kicking ass. is a snake oiler. I almost went with that one. Victory. You've put that unfortunate bandit to rest. Maybe now he'll have less of a salty attitude. 20 XP salt crusted skull and a ghost pistol. Rest easy salty guy. Salt crusted skull. This skull bears the marks of prolonged and very strange torture. Etched into the back of the skull is the number 976. Ah, so they give you the hint again in case you forgot. Nice. Perfect for showdowns at high noon. Spooky damage instead of physical, 9 to 11. Oh. Ghost pistol seems pretty good. All right. It's at 531 right now. We make a course adjustment. It goes up to 631. 731, 831, 931. Oh, and then it rolls back around. 931. Oops, I fucked up. Well, this is actually really easy. 76. But what do I do now that it's at 976? I guess I just leave it alone. Let's check out the vinegar room. Vinegar processing. Let's talk to the ghost first. You approach the ghost. It's not right! It's not right! All right there, partner. All wrong. The temperature. It's not right. It's all wrong. Not right at all. All right, then. Do you... All wrong! Ah! Fuck this ghost. You're going down. Whiff. 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 Cucumber obsessed ghost. The ghost pistol. Get beefy. (laughs) 
victory! You set that ghostly feather to rights. All right. Vinegar soaked bones and some cursed pants. Weird, he didn't even have legs. Rest in peace, poor guy. These bones are all rubbery because they've been soaked in vinegar. Gross. You can faintly make out the number 190 scratched into one of the bones. Yikes. I see. This was a this was a hint for the first puzzle too. Cursed pants. The curse is that everyone can see your underwear. Two armor, 15% spooky resist. All right, I'm not gonna wear those right now. Steam release valve, 93 degrees. It's a furnace. It's a bellows. It's a bin of coal with a shovel in it. Let's take this shovel. Let's add some coal. Got a shovel full of coal in it. 93 degrees. Two shovelfuls of coal. Let's pump the bellows. Then it heats up by five degrees. I see. We're gonna need to add a shitload of coal. Now we're at 115. Now we're at 149. Now we're at 193, we need to let some heat out. Now we're at 183. Now we're at 188. We're about to go over. Now we're at 193 again. How much does this take off? 10, 10 each time. And this adds five. Hold on, it's at 188. It adds 11 if you use 2. Um, puts it as 210, 200, 190. We're set. How many hours into the game are you so far? Um... About 10, I think. Alright, we've solved all three of them, so let's... Activate the factory! Let's pull it! Pull the lever, and there is a deafening roar as the old machinery springs into life. After a while, a load of pickles is deposited in the receptacle to the left of the switch. You got three ghost pickles. Huh. All that work for three pickles? No wonder this place went out of business. Yep. Three ghost pickles. This is the ghost of a pickle, brined in mystery and vinegar. Makes you difficult to damage for the rest of the day by turning you into a spooky ghost. That's cool. This door just leads to an empty, dusty room. Huh. I could have sworn there were a bunch of cucumber storage tubs in there before. Oh well. Oh well. I could have sworn there was a vinegar tank and a boiler in there, and why would you make something like that up? Oh well. Wasn't I supposed to defeat some bandits here or something? We've already activated the pickle factory and made some pickles. There's no pickle ingredients left to make pickles out of, even if pickle actually seemed like a word at this point. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I could commune with her spirit if I had a fuck ton of mysticality. How much mysticality am I sitting on right now? Oh, I'm only two away, but all my things are full, so I can't eat or drink a mysticality food right now. I need to raise... Hmm...
Oh, do I have an item that gives more mysticality? Good call. That's a good thought. I might, actually. Let's see. Do I have any... Oh, plus four mysticality hat. You are on this. You are on this, Nox. On it. Now I got the mysticality I need. Immune with her spirit. You think perhaps the spooky cremains? Ah, oh, damn it, cremains! Alright, let's do this. You reach into Gretchen's grave with your mind. Ugh, the pain! Oh no, you're late for your shift. This is Vlast is gonna- wait, this is the same thing as before. I see. It's the same thing as before. So, this is just another way to get the numbers if you missed them the first time and you didn't want to kill the ghosts or whatever. Okay. That's cool. I thought something else was gonna happen, but that's fine. Two armor. Three muscle and three moxie. We've already talked to Pete and had that conversation. Well, maybe I can go back to Dirt Water and get rewarded for the pickle gang or whatever, anyway. Or was I supposed to arrest the ghosts instead of killing them? The Gherkin Brothers. But how do I get the Gherkin Brothers? I already did everything at the pickle factory. Oh, here we go. Hey there! What's the good word? Here's the pickle factory remains. What? In the world? It's the Gherkin Brothers. And please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's the reward. Thanks a bundle. 1,500 meat. That's a lot. And 60 XP's. Feeling good. How much XP's? Oh, look how much XP I have. So I think the next thing I was going to raise was grit again so I could get the pain tolerance up. And then the next thing I'm going to raise after that will probably be gumption to get one more spleen capacity and one more speed. And then raise it again to not get another action point. Missing letters on the building make it spell haunted. Oh, somehow I didn't even notice that. That's really cool. She thought she was going to be all salty. I see what you did there, Nox. What you did there is seen by me. Huh? What? What now? Got lots of places I haven't been to yet. Let's check out this destroyed campsite. Spy a burned out ranch house on the horizon and pull Sunny up to it to investigate. There's nothing much of interest above ground, but you find a locked door leading down into a presumably still intact root cellar. Let's pick the lock! Once you're inside, you're not sure why they even bothered locking it. It's been picked clean of everything but a tiny amount of food and an even tinier amount of medicine. Dude, I just got five items! That's a ton of stuff. What are you talking about? It's not really the greatest items I've ever seen. Surgical gin. This gin is used for sterilizing patients and anesthetizing instruments. <laughs> Sorry, messed that up a bit. I've been drinking surgical gin. That is a lot of armor for the rest of the day. We're at the destroyed campsite. I got some great stuff. Soda crackers as well.
He gives a low whistle. That's our nation! Cows did a right number on some fella's camp! Not just his camp. Yikes. This knapsack seems like it's taken a lot of abuse recently. Goes well with Nurse Whiskey. Yeah, I remember the Nurse Whiskey. Let's search it! Snapstack. Most of the contents are trash from being stomped on. You do find a dented can of potted meat, though. You also notice that the knapsack has a knife sheath strapped to the side, but you don't see the knife anywhere. Got a potted meat. It says food on the side. Nothing says quality like meat in a can. Or rather, nothing claims quality like the label on a can of meat. Plus five to all three stats for the day is some pretty good food. This campfire has been thoroughly stomped on and kicked. Someone was real serious about fire safety. This tent is a real mess. It looks like it was trampled by a whole herd of cows. There's something odd about it though. A more thorough inspection reveals dusty boot prints on the tattered canvas. Cows don't typically wear boots. Cow boots. There are cow tracks leading away from the mangled corpse. It probably wouldn't be hard to follow them. Yikes. You think, maybe, this used to be a person? Investigate! Wow, gross! Uh, looks like wolves been at this fella! Not cows? Well, maybe it was cows what killed him, but they don't usually chew on the bones. Let's take a closer look. What's this weird white grease around the chew marks? I don't know, and I ain't sure I want to know. No, hang on, I am sure I don't want to know. Hmm. Weird white grease. Should we follow the tracks? Hmm. Of course we're gonna follow the tracks. Yeah, I got the horse armor, Kilobyte. My friend, actually. A friend a friend gifted this game to me on Steam, and the same friend sent me the DLC code for the horse armor as well. Blood thickens. Alright, let's follow these tracks. Since you have reason to believe these tracks may be a fake, you could follow them or head in the opposite direction. I'm following them. Maybe there'll be an ambush or something. I can... bone some people. Follow the cow tracks for a hundred yards or so, after which they stop suddenly. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest nearby. Well, darn! Someone's left a bundle of dynamite on the ground. <sighs> they just got attacked by an eye itch and a yawn at the same time. I was all over the place. You approach it cautiously, verifying that it's neither wired to a detonator nor connected to an actively sparking fuse. What an odd and dangerous thing for someone to leave lying around. I'll take it! Three pieces of dynamite. Yeehaw! Continue on. Alright, let's follow the opposite direction of the tracks. Let's go the opposite way. Head in the opposite direction for about half a mile and discover another campsite. This one occupied. You observe the campers carefully from a distance before approaching. They're dressed weirdly in brightly colored baggy clothes and white face paint. As you get closer, you realize they're dressed up as rodeo clowns. Gross. Why would they do that? There doesn't seem to be a rodeo happening anywhere near here. Let's approach the camp. Rodeo clowns. <sighs> I like how even though they're um, wearing baggy clothes, they're still stick figures. 
knew a fellow once who worked as a rodeo clown. He was always real glad to get the makeup off at the end of the day. Can't imagine a fella leave it on like that. Yeah, no kidding. I just noticed my character's face gets sad when I run into a when I run into a um, cactus. This rodeo clown is playing a harmonica. The tune he's playing basically goes doot doot doodle oot doot doo doo doot doot doodle oot doot doot Pretty classic uh, carnival circus type song. Oh. Another eye itch and yawn at the same time. What the hell's going on? I got that shit on a save ends every round that's hitting me. Clownsmanship. All right, let's say hello. He nods politely but keeps playing. A simple three-man tent, which probably sleeps about 40 clowns. This rodeo clown is eating a comically large haunch of meat. He narrows his eyes at you as if to say, fine. This clown is idly juggling a knife. Howdy, stranger says with a smile. Let's converse. Let's converse! Howdy, stranger! Er, uh, howdy. You guys are a long way from the circus. You know about our circus? Yeah, Barnaby Bob's traveling circus something, right? Up north? Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow. Yeah, that's the one. It's way up north, though. What you got doing all the way down here? Clowns exchange glances. Look, camping? You can tell by the campfire. Uh, what I mean is, why are you camping all the way down here so far from home? Oh, well, we're on a break, so we decided to take in the sights. What sights? This is the middle of nowhere. Nonsense! Check out those cactuses over there, and those mountains, and, well, all this sand. Plenty of things to see. Can you tell me a bit about your circus? Eh, I thought you said you'd been. No, I've seen the big painted canvas walls and all, but I haven't actually been inside. So sell me on it. Let's hear your pitch. Oh, uh, gosh. You're kind of putting me on the spot here. I don't handle public relations type stuff. I do. He looks at the other clowns and they shrug back at him. Con concessions? Concessions. Enchantment? Enchantment. It's like the sandal of concessions. Oh, come on. You work at the place, don't you? Give me the scoop. Well, it's a circus, you know. There's food and games and a freak show. All that good circus stuff you love. Go on, tell me more. Will you quit bugging me? Just go see it for yourself. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is your deal? Are you cracked or something? Oh, I need intimidating four. That is some high-ass intimidating. Oh, fine. Forget it, then. Okay, see you later. My intimidating is only three. I'd need to spend 300 XP to get it up to four. That's a lot. Do you know anything about that wrecked camp nearby? 
clown with the meat chuckles quietly. Somebody's camp got wrecked? Wow, that's terrible! Whatever happened? Well, it looks like the work of cows. Or fake clowns. You know, now that you mention it... What is up with all these yawns coming at me? Now that you mention it, we did hear quite a ruckus coming from not too far away. A lot of, you know, uh, mooing and so on. Uh, right, boys? Yeah, the two clowns nod in agreement. You guys know a lot about cows, right? Now, why would you assume that? Just because we're clowns? Well, I figure it comes with the territory. It's been a good 20 years since a rodeo was an actual thing, you know. So why do you dress that way? Dress? Oh, well, it's traditional, after all. Isn't it inconvenient? How do you mean? Well, it must be hard to talk to people when they're all creeped out. Oh, do you think we're creepy? He leers at you, showing yellow teeth. In the flickering light of the campfire, they almost look pointed. Uh... Ha <laughs> ha! Relax, partner! That's just the old stories getting you worked up! You mean the old stories about... How demon cows and demon clowns war against each other in hell? And rodeo clowns dress like that because the rodeos were some sort of, like, reenactments of those battles? You've done your homework! So, what do you think? Are demon clowns real? Well, I guess maybe. Demon cow turned out to be real after all, so why not the clowns too? The clown smiles, but his eyes are hard. It's sensible to keep an open mind! But you know, stranger, if clowns did turn out to be real, this could be an awful awkward predicament you'd find yourself in right now, couldn't it? I'll just be going now. Alright, we're about to fight some demon clowns, but I want to ask him... ...about the knife. Nice knife. Thanks! It was a birthday present! Oh, was it your birthday recently? The clown grins at you. Not my birthday, no! Okay, then. Alright, let's fight these fucking clowns. Wrecked camp. Oh, I think you know what happened. The harmonica falls silent, and the clown's eyes grow very cold. He stops toying aimlessly with his knife. Well, now, I don't much care for that accusatory tone in your voice, mister. Well, let's see how you feel about a little frontier justice. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, they're making some creepy sounds. Hey, Saito, how you doing? I'm officially saying hello to Saito. Sturdy barrel providing cover. Oh, there's no cover versus what I'm gonna do to y'all. It's a clown mook. Clown with a gun. A knife clown. Alright. I think it's time to menacing move these fools. I think it's time to buff me. There's no point in using stop, it kind of sucks. Well, maybe it's okay. If I use his little AoE thing also. Pete, I will avenge you! Kill four with one bull stomp. Yeehaw! 
Declaration of Welcome to Saito has been documented. Saito just doesn't have the same ring as Enchantment. Oh, is that what you were going for with the Saito? Saito! Thing? I didn't even get it, because it was so different from Enchantment in every way. Canadian, okay. Manners will drilled into me at a young age. Man, I remember when you didn't make typos all the time. Those were good days. Well, that's one pack of demonic rodeo clowns that won't be troubling people anymore. And boy, did you not expect to be thinking that sentence today. 75 XP! Let's look through their stuff! You poke around their campsite for a bit, but don't find anything of value apart from the leader's knife and a ticket to the circus. Well, the harmonica, maybe. But that clown had his lips all over it. Shudder. Got a clown knife and a circus ticket. You also find a note in one of the lead clown's pockets. Ew. It seems to be orders to check out an abandoned tannery not far from Dirtwater. It's probably a bad idea to let these guys wander around near town, so maybe you should investigate. Shudder. Alright, so I found a circus ticket. So now I can actually go to the circus up there. That's pretty cool. Barnaby Bob, perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow. Admit one plus partner. Nice, I, get, I can get Crazy Pete in there too. I got a clown knife. The blade of this hunting knife is glistening with clown spit. Ugh. People who lick their knives to look intimidating are basically the worst people. <laughs> It's not as good as St. Beefus's thigh, though. And I discovered a clown campsite. Oh, look! There is something down there! Look, Nox! That empty spot that I spent ages and ages trying to discover something in, it's finally filled in. There's not room for much else on this portion of the map. There could be something here. There could be something here. Maybe even way up here. But I've probably discovered very close to all of the things in the first third of the map. Okay, I'm I... Watch yourself! Call on these clown fellas! Snakes! Right disservice to snakes! Yeah, don't talk shit about snakes. Yeah, no kidding. I tried hard to find something there. I did. And now something is there. Danny's tannery. Uh-oh. It's a tannery, Nox. We're basically going into a hellish uh, place of horrors. Cross paths with Wander and Sally again. Howdy, Griff! Interested in trading? You bet. Said the same thing last time. Let's see what Wandering said. Oh, a blank postcard. I'll take it. Um. Fungicide bomb. I should get another lock in case I need it. What boots am I wearing? Alright, I got a fucking list of items here as long as my shit didn't fall out at this point. Where's my boots? I don't remember what kind of boots I'm wearing. Brown boots, right? Plus one AP. These give AP and armor. 300 meat is a lot, though. I don't think I'm gonna buy them. I'll get another lock just in case I need it. 
That's all, I think. I could sell her some stuff, but I don't want to. Thanks, Wandering Sally. I have 6,000, yeah, but... I know there's gonna be stuff that I want later that's gonna be way more expensive. Can't just be throwing meat around like it's going out of style. You stumble across an overturned stagecoach. Flip it over! Alright, we've done this before. 10 XP. I'll take it. Danny's Tannery. Oh no, a tannery. It's your partner. Weird that this place is so far away from town. You ever smell a working tannery? Hooey! Guess we better check it out. Alright. In we go. You get the name reference? No? What's the name reference? It sounds like there's a lot of fighting going on inside the tannery. Except instead of the regular fighting sounds you're used to, like shouting and gunfire and chairs being broken over people's backs, you hear a lot of ghostly bellowing and shrill, cackling laughter. It sounds like a real bad scene, in other words. Danny Tanner from Full House. Oh. Wow. Full House? Who even remembers that show? Apparently you. All Full House. Enter the tannery. As you enter the tannery, the second thing you notice is that the place has been abandoned for years. Probably since the cows came home. A lot of the equipment is wrecked, and all of it is covered with dust. The first thing you notice is that there are a bunch of rodeo clowns in here, fighting with, well, they aren't cows exactly, they're more like the possessed skins of cows. That's a little strange, because you've seen people wearing, for example, cow leather chaps, and you've never seen anyone being attacked by their chaps. Maybe there's something about the tanning process that makes leather impervious to possession, and these ghost cow whatevers are untanned hides. In any case, the clowns and cows seem preoccupied enough with their fighting that they haven't noticed you. At least, not yet. Let's look around! Ghost, cows, and clowns. Fortunately, those two are too preoccupied with each other than they're slipping out the door. Oh, is Bob Saget here, man? Bob Saget. Talk about a no-talent hack. Lie. I don't know if I should mess with this lie. Not gonna lie. Doesn't seem like a good idea. I only peddle in the extremely topical and relevant Newhart references. Hey, Newhart is timeless, my friend. Newhart is timeless. Full House was never entertaining in any way. <laughs> Newhart was actually pretty good. Just don't take it lying down. Oh no, it started. Now you now the other two will not stop until all puns have been made. As you approach the clown and weird cow leather ghost thing, they take notice of you and stop fighting while they process this new development. The clown, fortunately, seems to decide he hates cows more than he hates you. The cow, unfortunately, decides it hates you more. Alright, I can talk about... Oh, before I can do anything, anything in this place, I have to deal with this... Oh, no, I can just be super sneaky. Or, I could come over here. Manure, lime... In before... In before Saito starts talking about wind-dried chicken or some shit. 
The door is locked, which is probably just as well, considering the ruckus you hear on the other side of it. You know we're a barrel full of laughs? Oh no, here we go. That joke really tanned. That one would have been better in text. I just would have said the word tanked, but then I would have had T-A-N in capital letters. All right, you know what? Fuck this cow spirit. I'm hating it right back. Oh, the rodeo clown is on my side. A skin cow. That actually sounds genuinely creepy. What did you expect her? Oh, fuck. Here we go. He belies the point. Oh, they're, they're, they're off to the races, guys. They're off to the races. All right, skin cow. Here's what I have to say to you. One, two, three. Beat the cow. The skin cow. But the enemy of your enemy is apparently not your friend because the clown decides it's his turn to be on the right side of the screen. All right, fuck him. Uh-oh. I give him a little of what I gave the cow. Overpowered ass ability. Victory. Now you want to Photoshop a slender move picture. Oh, please do. This is what everyone on the internet has always wanted. Oh, that's one clown and one cow down. You hear a lot more fighting going on in the rest of the tannery, though. For that pat on the back, we'll have to wait till later. Back to exploring. Oh, look what I found. Looks like you found an old toolbox. Let's open it. Besides the miscellaneous scraps and junk that naturally accumulate in toolboxes, Find a handful of nails and a pair of sizable, sharp, and serious looking scissors. Oh, I hate when scissors are whimsical, so I'm glad these are some serious ones. Heavy duty scissors have little serrated teeth and are designed specifically for cutting cowhide. Who would make such a monstrous instrument of death? Something specifically for cutting cowhide? Who would do such a thing? It's pure evil. Pure evil. The store is locked. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's kill some more cows and ghosts. Game can be quite ensuring. I'd rather just ensure that you never make a joke like that again. Honestly, quit clowning around, guys. <laughs> I've got a combat encounter to deal with. Your attempt to sneak up on the cows fails, assuming you were even sneaking and not just moseying over. The cows appear all too willing to add your face to the list of faces they hate. Turn their attention from the clowns, who jump on this opportunity to get the jump on their ancient enemies. Join the fracas! Yeehaw! Let's fuck up some skin, cows. True to form, the clowns who were on your side in that fight betray you. Damned clowns! Rodeo clowns. Okay. I got enough action points to one, two, three, twice. It's kind of strange to be fighting alongside demonic clowns, but I guess war makes strange bedfellows. Ugh, please ignore the fact that I just used demonic clowns and bedfellows in the same sentence. EDXP for that. Back to exploring. Where am I sitting at? 279. I really wanted to get some more gumption. 
And then I want the next rank of gumption next. Even though it's 320, I'll have to save up for it. I'll get another action point, which would be rad. This clown's head looked like wrapped pieces of hard candy. Look, how about we just not make fun of the differently head shaped? This looks pretty interesting. This scene has the makings of a real brawl. Not only does one of the clowns have a nasty look in his eye, nastier than typical, I mean, but one of the possessed cowhides is stretched on a tanning frame, which makes it stronger somehow, I assume? Bring on the brawl! Yeehaw! That's fine. Listen, an unguleth. Well, unguleth or not, it's about to get owned. Oh shit! It didn't kill it! At least they're attacking the clowns before us. Good job, Rodeo Clown. Easius and Peasius. Is that Lady Cow Sandra? Doctor Who reference. Doctor Moo reference. Guess what? The clouds turn on you after all the clouds are dead. This is not surprising. Guy's got 65, 71, 82, 82 guy. Get some... Oh, they have a lot of muscle. That's why I wouldn't be killing him with... Okay, I need to... I need to reduce some muscle first. And I need to buff myself. Yeah, Pete's going down. Alright, I think I still got this. They still have a lot of muscle. I'm gonna beef up. And now I can take him out. Yeah, you guys got nothing. Victory. Let's see. Knox says, Lady Cassandra was the, quote, last real human, unquote, who preserved herself for so long she was just a peach of stretch. Hey, I think I saw that one, actually. That's, I actually think, that was like one of the very first episodes of Doctor Who, right? Where she was in that? Because I only watched a few episodes. And I, and I saw that. It was super weird. Phew, what a mess that fight was. And what a mess the floor is afterward. At least now you're free to poke around the scenery. 120 XP! Take that nasty clown's knife and oh look! They also had a key. I got a tannery backdoor key and a varmint skin and knife. Let's get to it! This body must have been lying here since the cows came home. There isn't much left of them. Let's search! You poke around in the tattered shreds of his clothes and find an old key. The Tannery Saint Rage Key. Saint Rage sounds like it's gonna be another... another Saint Beefus fight. Oh, I can build some... I can build a crate. I love how this... I love how this works. If you happen to have a hammer and nails and you find loose boards... You can always build a crate out of them, and then the crate will have stuff in it, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense, but... A lot- oh, damn it, after I just bought a lock, too. Oh, I see what they did here. A depressed rancher candy. Because you know how there's those candies called Jolly Ranchers? I love Jolly Ranchers. And a bar of soap. I've already got, like, a couple bars of soap, I think. Three bars of soap. This key has an old and worn leather tag on it that says Saint Rage. Or Strage. Saint Rage? What? Presumably this key unlocks the back door to Danny's tannery. 
This is a knife optimized for separating varmints from their hides. It allows you to collect skin. I thought I already had one of those. Varmint skin and knife. I do. Hmm, okay. Two locks. Depressed rancher candy. Like all things for ranchers, this candy was a lot better before the cows came home. Okay, cool. Well, here we go. Are you ready for this? The store is locked, but the key you found on that clown looks like it'll probably fit. If you're sure you want to go out there, it sounds like one hell of a fight is happening. That's not, yeah, I love stupid walking, Kilobyte. Sounds like a hell of a fight is happening. Oh boy. Oh jeez. This is not a good situation to be in. You quickly hide behind some old tanned hides. Huh. Is that why they're called that? There are three clowns out here, each armed with a nasty looking knife. One of them is licking his knife, and the sound makes you think maybe he is literally sharpening the blade on his tongue. They are facing down two of the stretch hide cows, and a monstrous thing that looks like an entire cow skeleton draped in flayed cow skin. Alright, this actually sounds pretty serious. Let's listen in. I bet you lot think you're real clever breaking through to the human plane. He may or may not be Fazan Kahul. Did you think we wouldn't follow you? <laughs> Did you think you'd find a weapon here to use against us? Or are you just trying to escape? What? You take that back! I'm gonna stop listening. None of them seem to have noticed you. It looks like you can sneak back through the door if you're really careful. This looks tough. I don't know if I should... Well now, this looks like a heck of a scrap, boss! You aren't kidding. Better be right certain you're ready before dragging us into that! Yeah. I'm not certain I'm ready. I'm deeply uncertain of my readiness. Hold on, what's my... What's my... My pain tolerance is four. I've got two levels of rage, or angry, which means if I lose a fight, I just gain a third level of angry and I don't actually go unconscious. So I could try it, and even if I lose, it's not a huge deal. You're right, Kilobyte. Fortune favors the bold. Let's do this! Yeehaw! When they see you, the clowns and cows stop hissing and mooing and posturing at each other. Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, Candygram? Uh-oh. Now's our chance! Get them! Uh-oh. Yeehaw! All right, we got this. That's a hell cow, 94 hit points, and 40 mu and 40 muscle. All right, first thing we're gonna do is moo it up. Then the second thing we're gonna do is buff me. Ooh, I just took a bunch of damage. The third we're gonna do is beef up. And then I'm gonna come at this hell cow with some damages. Oh, Pete just got aced. Alright, we got this. But now, can I win the second fight? Work demon sex, cow boom bamoo nations, and clown abominations fight against one another in the ultimate battle of white collar versus blue collar. Nice knocks. That is exactly what's happening here. Victory. As predictable as ever, the clowns turn on you once you've helped them defeat the cows. Sigh. <laughs>
All right, what do we got? We got a rodeo clown, 72 hit points, 35 muscle, 72, 25, 80, and 35. He's the dangerous guy. So we're going to move first. We're going to buff me. He's going to get destroyed. Now I'm going to beef up. I'm going to hit this guy with the, the big attack. Oh yeah, I got this, no problem. This is easy mode. This is easy mode. Don't even talk to me about this shit. I've got too much of a muscle advantage on them, they can't hit me. The combination of debuffing their muscle, buffing my muscle, and getting buffed by Pete is really strong. It makes it, because look, I have 37 muscle right now and they only have 19. So they're like helpless against me, basically. A little codex pop up if this had been in Masquerade of Signs and Shadow Style. <laughs> yeah, right? Victory. Phew. It's a good thing the clowns hate cows more than they hate humans, or that fight could have gone way worse. Fortunately, it seems pretty unlikely that you'll run into any more animated, leather-clad cow skeletons on your adventure. Right? Again, 180 XP, hello! Hooray! Yeehaw! Feeling good! Oh, I have 419. That's a lot. Alright, let's get my... let's get my gumption up one more. That'll get me another action point. A 99 XP. I think I'll save that 99 XP. You approach the hide warily. Looks like it was too tan to be possessed. Oh, this must be the Saint Rage thing. Is there gonna be a super hard boss fight in here? This must be a storage shed. It's locked, but maybe the key you found could open it. Well, I think we'll find out in our next episode. That's going to do it for this one. If you're watching this stream, don't go anywhere, because I am not done playing. I'm not done streaming. If you're watching on YouTube, this episode is now over. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been Josiah Plays West of Loathing.